last several years, Chef Ramsay has traveled all across America. You are in denial. No. And encountered some memorable owners. Wake up! You wake up! One being more stubborn. I'm telling you one last time. Than the next. It was fresh through the day. They're not crap and they're delicious. Why don't you get the fuck out of my restaurant? Want me to go? I would love you to go. But tonight, on Kitchen Nightmares. Are you nuts? Completely. At an Italian restaurant in Denver. Denver's best pizza. There's a huge mistake on the awning. Chef Ramsay faces off against the most stubborn owner he has ever met. What the hell are you guys doing? Pete is clearly living in the past, clinging to positive reviews from 20 years ago. We are not in 1985, Pete. His wife, Paulette, and son, Josh, have fought a losing battle. Pete! Get lost. Trying to get through to him. But Pete simply refuses to listen to them. Damn it, don't! Or anyone else. Just shut up. Including Chef Ramsay. You're sinking. Oh, no, I'm not. The food is absolutely appalling. Have you any idea how bad that tasted? The portions are enormous. It looks like a giant diaper stuffed with meatballs. It seems the only thing bigger than Pete's ego, holy crap, is his pizza. I'll let you take that in. Tonight, Chef Ramsay pulls out all the stops. We are now just going so far backwards. As he tries to save a restaurant, you're in denial. I am disagreeing with you. And a family as well. Stop. Stop. They're not crap, and they're delicious. Then wake up! You wake up! <coughs> Shut the place down! Get out of here! That Get is out. amazing! That's embarrassing! Oh, Thank you so much. Denver, Colorado, known as the Mile High City, is home to almost 2,500 restaurants. Located just seven miles from the city center is Pantaleon's, opened in 1985 by Pete and his wife, Paulette. I'm, I'm from an island in Greece. When I first got to the US, I was a chef in another place, but I wanted to buy a place of my own because my pizza is the best in the whole world. I'm Paulette. Pete and I on this, and we're married. When we first opened, we did have wonderful reviews. We just got award after award after award. My signature on the pizza is my crust. Back in the 90s, it was busy. But my grandfather thinks he's still in the 90s. I think my pizza is awesome. Pete is stuck in a time war. I've done 200 people, man. Come on, by myself. That's a long time ago. Have a slow lunch. We used to be packed. Now, we have no customers. I cannot pinpoint the reason. I've been telling Pete for years we need to change things, but he doesn't listen. I'm getting some bad feedback on your pizza. Well, what, what are you going to do? <laughs> My food is not the problem. My table's saying that it's too soggy, too soft on the dough. There's got to be something else. Look at that. <laughs> it's no nasty. It's like all grease and crust. Pot Leone's has the worst pizza in Denver. My grandpa's pizza is like a white wall tire. It's mushy. Yeah. That's disgusting. God forbid, if you said anything about his pizza, forget it. You'll be like, ah, you don't know what you're talking about. That's pretty bad. Just shut up. Your veggie pizzas, they're a little soggy. OK, quit, quit winning. I want to change things about the place, but my father shoots down every one of my ideas. It's ridiculous, man. This is your system. Really? Yeah, really. Just shut up. I feel frustrated because I want to help my parents, but there's only so much that I can do to help them. The restaurant does put a tremendous amount of stress on our family. We are just making ends meet. If it keeps up like this, I could see us shutting down in a year or so. If we don't get this restaurant going, we're going to have to sell our home. We're going to have to find jobs. And at our age, that is not going to be easy. We got to make it work, or we got to get out of it. That's it. This restaurant has been my life for the last 28 years. I put everything in this place that I ever had. If the restaurant fails, it will feel like my life was nothing. Pantaleones. Wow. Denver's best pizza. That is a bold statement. Hello. How 
Hi. Hello. Nice to see you. Hey, Chef. I'm excited. I'm excited, uh, too. Denver's best pizza. That's a big statement. First name is? Paulette. You are the owner? Co-owner. Co-owner. With? Pete. Where it is? Pete. Oh. There he is. There he is. Hello, Chef. How are you, sir? Good to see you. Whereabouts in Italy are you from? I'm not Italian. Who said that I am? Greek. Oh, Greek. Got you now. Who's this? That's my son, I'm Josh. Josh. Josh, how are you, bud? Pleasure. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. Good. Um, let's catch up with you and okay. Pete, yeah? Okay. Where should we go? Uh, so we're right here, uh, sir. Okay. Shall we? Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hope they don't make an ass out of themselves. One thing about Pete that I struggle with is his inability to change. It is absolutely hindering things. Um, so you have the best pizza in Denver. That's I do. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. When did you receive that? The 85. So you've had the best pizza in right town on. since 1985. That's incredible. I think I do. Well, actually, I don't think I do. I, I know I do. Where did you train? In New York. Now, there is a city with great pizzas. Yes. yes. Yeah. But mine is better. Uh, but, OK. Right. <laughs> OK, great. And you opened in 1985? March 10th of 85. It was Monday. We opened up. You know your dates well for an old boy. An old boy? You know, an old boy is like a charming old man. <laughs> 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 right. How hands-on is this one? Completely. Com completely. Still? What? Seven days a week? Uh, no, we're closed two days. You close two days a week? Uh, Sunday and Monday are closed. Uh, and why are you close on Sunday? Sunday? Because yeah. I want to watch football. <laughs> Are you nuts? Do you have any idea how many pizzas get ordered on a Sunday just in football season? We did open that Sunday in 86. Congratulations. In 86. <laughs> <laughs> so how has that affected the business, closed two days a week, Sunday, Monday? Nobody knows who we're open. I mean, we're closed in the afternoon. The restaurant closes? Seriously? Because sure. he has to have his nap. He has to have his what? Nap. nap. A siesta. Sleep. That's kind of a European thing that, you know, the siesta deal. Uh, the restaurant closes because Pete wants a nap? Yeah, like they do in Greece. In England, too. No, no, we don't close no, the you afternoon. Don't do that. No, no. Uh, Did you do any delivery? Mm, no. Wow. Yes. Plus, there's another problem. The other things, you don't listen to anyone. I mean, you don't listen to me. It's like if he starts doing something one way, you can't get him off of it. She's a princess and controlling. Mm -mm. How old is Josh? 33. And he must be geared up now to take over the business when you take a back seat somewhere. Well, in terms of what's the plan? Is he the head chef now? No. No. He's no. still in. As long as I'm in here, I am. OK, we're talking about pizzas, right? Denver's best pizza. <laughs> what the heck are you laughing about? Well... I'd expect Josh by now, yes. literally five or six years at the helm. Why can't you let go? I don't know. When do you think you're going to let go? Who knows? For the last two years, two I've years. seen it on a downhill Decline. slide. And now, like a Tuesday night, I might have two tables. Two tables? I've two seen tables. it with no tables. Wow nearly 30 years of business. Have you put money away? No. No. You can't retire? No. We got into trouble. We refinanced our home two or three times. This is crazy. Mm-hmm. That's what I feel like. Wow. So I'm going to get up to speed uh, with the food. I'm dying to taste that pizza. Uh, I know it's late in the afternoon, but are you, uh, are you going for a nap, or are you with us? <laughs> He's staying. Oh, he's staying. Okay, just he's staying great. Today. Okay, good. I, I didn't know if it was <laughs> oh, nap time. <laughs> Paulette always nags me. She thinks she knows everything, which she doesn't. How'd it go? She didn't let me show one word. Josh, come around, but let's catch up. Because I've done it for 37 years, I think I know what I'm doing. I didn't realize things were that tough for mom and dad. It's actually gotten to a point where I'm, I'm embarrassed of the place. Right. I didn't. Change is. The biggest problem. You're happy with the pizzas? Um, no. Wow. So the bad? Oh, absolutely. It sounds like a very stubborn man. Yeah. I have a lot more ideas. Has he started to pass the reins over? <laughs> or no? no. Seriously? No, no. Absolutely. Not. Why is that? I don't know what's going to make him, if ever. It's always been three more years, three more years. It's so, crazy. Yeah, it is. It's been really crazy. 
Coming up. Holy Isn't that ridiculous? Chef Ramsay begins his research. It's like the pizza that ate Denver. And discovers the biggest portions he has seen in a long time. That looks like a giant diaper. Jeez. You won't believe how stubborn Pete really is. It was the worst pizza in Denver. I disagree with you. So stubborn. I may even leave. That he may push his family out of the restaurant for good. Yeah, I'm out of here. Clearly, this family is divided. Wife Paulette and son Josh feel that the restaurant is stuck in the past, while Pete feels there is absolutely nothing wrong with his food. It's time for Chef Ramsay to find out for himself. How are you, darling? I'm good. How so are you? So, first name is? Celestina. Celestina. That's a beautiful name. And what do you think the problems are with the restaurants? There's a few different problems. Um, when it comes to Pete and Paulette, they butt heads a lot on how things should be run. She wants changes, and Pete wants things his way. Wow. Anyway, let me have a quick look at the menu. Okay. And, um, oh, there's another letter here. Everything is homemade. We cook for you just like Mama did. That's nice to know. Um, done this order. Okay. Um, I want to go for a sausage pizza, please. Okay. A toasted meatball hero. And then pizza own, Kelso. And then uh, I'll go for the linguine of clam as well. All righty. Thank you, my darling. No problem. My God. Look at the dining room. I mean, he's got as much atmosphere in here as it is in the hospital room. I mean, it is sad. Here's this, Pete. Okie dokie. Okay. I'm not nervous for Chef Ramsay to taste my food. Well, let's put it this way. He's going to go to heaven today. How is it? The meatball sandwich? The meatballs, I've had that at the cat food. Oh, shit, really? Yeah. I want to know where the fuck you were eating cat food. Long story. Holy shit. Paulette. Yes. What is that behind your head? That's a hologram. Freaking me out. You know what a lot of people are afraid of that? That's a clown. Oh, God. How long has that been up there? Oh, probably about 15 years. So whose idea was that? That's spooky. That's mine. <laughs> oh, my God. How's the cars on? Blood. Really? Blood's done. Get it out. No, it's not. I just checked it. It's Don't done. Worry. It's done. I this just fucking me. checked it like two seconds ago. It's going to burn in the bottom. Get it out. That's pretty bad. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. Shut up, all of you. Perfect. Let's go. Chef's calzone. Yeehaw. OK, Jeez. here's Pete's calzone. Jesus. Do I look like one of the Denver Broncos that I can eat this thing? <laughs> it looks huge. Thank you, Dan. Doing these portions, I mean, they're hideous. How much filling does he put in there? Jesus. Raw onion. Paulette. Yes. Jesus. How much is he putting in there? Look at all that pepperoni. I mean, the slices are still jammed together. Yeah. I've never seen a calzone so full. I mean, the filling's cold. That is hideous. I don't like that either. I've been wanting to take that calzone and fling it like a frisbee for about 20 years. Pete, I got some critiques for you. Ah, are, you are you kidding me? Listen really? to me, damn it. The complaint is it's so full, it's cold. Shut up. It's going to be a wake up call for Pete. See? Perfect. I put my pizza up against anybody in the country. No, in Denver or Colorado, in the country. That's how confident I am about my pizza. Let's go. Come on. Here we go. Here's your sausage pizza. Holy crap. Isn't that ridiculous? <laughs> it's like the pizza that ate Denver. Yeah. Shit. OK. I'll let you take that in. Thank you. Man. Oh, my god. Dripping in grease. And the oil, the grease coming out of that. Oil in there, look at the grease. That's gross. He said it's too greasy, just exactly what I, I feel. Oh, shut up. I don't want to hear it. Honestly, 
the best pizza in Denver. I mean, does that look like the best pizza? Trust me, I can tell you, it doesn't taste good. So, let's see. The dough is so thick. Why? I mean, it's just like a loaf of bread. It's like a baguette in there. Mm -hmm. That's our thin crust. That's the thin crust? Mm -hmm. Stop. <laughs> wow. Seriously? Yeah, a lot of people get upset with me for that when they ask for the thin crust, and I bring them the thin crust. Wow. Did you touch that? The dough is raw. Oh, wow, it is. And raw pastry. My god, what a mess. Darling, I'm done. Alrighty. Uh, dreadful. OK, I'll let him know. Messy. That is definitely not the best pizza in Denver. Let's get that right. Hey, Pete, he wanted me to show you the uh, dough. What's wrong with that pizza? He said the Let pizza was doughy on the inside and greasy. It is doughy, look. Really? I agree with him, too. Are you kidding me? I don't know what the chef is talking about, and a lot of people love it. I do, I eat it. Why don't you guys throw this away? Leave it, I'm gonna eat it. Are you kidding me? What? That's disgusting. I'm hungry. I think Chef Ramsey's problem is that he hasn't tasted a classic pizza before. Damn, it's good. He's tasted all this fancy stuff, you know. OK, here we oh, go. The Jesus. meatball hero. The meatball hero. Wow. And how do you, how would you? Uh, um, oh. I guess you approach that however you feel. Wow. Thank you, my darling. No problem. Just visually, there's nothing hero looking about that. God. That's not anywhere near a hero sandwich. That looks more like a sloppy joe. It's bad. It's all soggy there. It's like eating a patch of soaking wet grass after a cow shat all over it. You're all done with that. That is definitely not a hero. Yeah, disgusting. Oh. There's a typo error on the menu. It's not hero, it's zero. I'll let him know. Please. Do you want to hear Chef's response? Yes. Yes, he said yeah. it's a zero, not a hero. I don't believe this. I have plenty of people that they love my meatball. I am very proud of my meatballs. And for Chef Ramsey to say it was a zero, it's very insulting. Jeff Ramsey has started sampling the menu at Pantaleon's. And while Pete claims his food is the best in Denver, Chef Ramsey has discovered Holy crap. it's anything but. With gigantic portions, greasy pizza, and tasteless dishes. It's not hero, it's zero. Josh, what are you doing, Josh? Let the, let the garlic roast. Roast you? Really? I'm going to whack you over the head with this damn thing. It'll get really hot before you put it in. Is this the first time I've done this? I don't agree at all with serving anything out of a can. It's embarrassing. I tell you, taste such shit. Here. Okay, here's the linguine. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you. No problem. Mm. Damn. I mean, that is absolutely dreadful. The seasoning, bland, like a plate of hospital food. I mean, it's just so unappetizing. Look at that. Excess water. I mean, that is disgusting. Man. How's it going? It looks like Pete's pissed in my pasta. That's bad. Or you could see what he was doing right now. Ugh. Are you all done with that? Yeah. Thank you, darling. No problem. And that's like one of the worst urine samples you could ever give. <laughs> oh, gross. Thank you. Horrible. Hey, Joshua. What did he say? He was very, very not happy with that. There were a lot of comments. It's ridiculous. Right now, the only person in here that's happy is that stupid fucking clown on the wall. Man, that was bad. You gotta take it, man. You gotta have to take it. There's a reason this place isn't doing good right now. Let's come round. Okay. 37 years since I came in this country, I've been working in the kitchens, and I know what I'm doing. Uh, I don't know what to say. My first time in Denver. 
and quite possibly one of the worst experiences I've ever had. First of all, the clams were dreadful. I disagree with you. Seriously? Yes. Have you any idea how bad that tasted? It's how he's made it for years and years. Were they canned? Yeah, yeah. What? Why are you lying to me? I'm not lying. You mention on the menu that everything's fresh and homemade like Mama did. It's always fresh made. I don't think the ingredients are quite as, as fresh anymore. And then the big disaster, my sausage pizza. It was dripping in grease. The dough was so thick, parts of it were undercooked. I disagree with you about my dough. I think I have a great dough. Really? Yes, sir. This was a thin crust. Yes, sir. I mean, you need to go and get your eyes tested, but that was not a thin crust. I am disagreeing with you. I have. We are not in 1985, Pete. Do you think that your father is serving the best pizza in Denver? Not anymore. And do you think your husband is selling the best pizza in Denver? No, I don't. You know, there's a huge mistake on the awning. Because I think you just cooked me the worst pizza in Denver. I disagree with you. Can I have two minutes on my own? Would you mind? Not at all. Pete is extremely set in his ways, but he's got to listen to somebody or we're not going to make it. You know what? He needs this. No, he's right on every damn he thing he right. said. Pete, you're in denial. That's the problem. You cannot just continue going through this system of failure that you're just, you're not getting anywhere. You're just going further and further backwards. And it's not making anybody happy. It's not giving your wife and your, your family a bit of freedom. It's just feeding your ego. I don't know what to say. You're sinking. <laughs> you're taking everybody else on the boat with you. No, I'm not. But pizza is not good. I'm still going to disagree with you. I really will. I'm sorry, but I am. I need some fresh air. OK, sir. Fuck me. <sighs> Man. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. Stop on. I've been doing this for 37 years. Seth Ramsey was a kid when I first started cooking. I should know a little bit more than he does. He's right on everything he said. Every fucking thing he said is right. The pizza even. I've been telling you, everything that he told you, I've been saying the same shit, though. I what? said, pipe the crust down. It's too fucking much. Give me. Oh, fuck. Does it take him to tell you that, to actually listen, or what? It's ridiculous. The food is shit. It really is. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? It's fucking frustrating. I did the best I could over the years. It's not good enough anymore. out for a minute. I don't know. You know what? I realized that, that it was like this for many, many years. And I've been nagging and screaming and carrying on. This place either changes or you lock the fucking doors. Oh, and... I, I'm done. If you don't change and do what he says, you'll never see me in this place again. And I don't give two flying you know what's what happens to everything I own. You'll be here by yourself. Everybody calm yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, calm down, right? right? I don't think that I need to change. I know what I'm doing. Zaswa and Paulette do not understand about running this place. I got more experience than they both of them put together. So, there you have it. After seeing how stubborn Pete was about his food, the pizza is not good. I'm still going to disagree with you. And his claim that he has the best pizza in the city, 
Chef Ramsay knew he had to do something to finally get through to him. We're going to be tasting three margarita pizzas. So he headed downtown. It was kind of a little mushy. Too much cheese. To do a little organized research. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Now armed with the findings from the taste test, Morning. Calimera, Chef. Chef Ramsay returns to Pantaleon's to confront Pete with the results. One thing that is very clear, I think Pete, you have overestimated how good your pizza is. I don't think you've ever compared it to what's happening in Denver right now. So after my disappointing lunch yesterday, I did a little research in Denver. How about all of you stand up and come and stand over here, please? Yep. And here it comes. Pete, it's now time to really find out how good your pizzas are. Three pizzas in front of me, A, B, C. A is from one of the best restaurants in town. B is your pizzas. And C is a store-bought local frozen pizza. Time to put your pizza to the test. That's right, your pizza's B. Which was your favorite? I liked A. I'd say A. I like B, A, because it was thin. And your least favorite? B, B, B. Why B? Soggy on the crust. Way too much cheese. It overwhelmed everything else. It felt my heart stop. It was too much. Too, too much, much on the crust. The crust was soggy. It was just not very good. OK, Pete, here's the results in a nutshell. 75% of our taste testers preferred Pizza A from the top local Italian restaurant. In second place, with 15% of the votes, was a store-bought frozen pizza. And in third and last position was yours, with 10% only of the votes. Yours was the least favorite. You're actually beaten by a store-bought fucking frozen pizza. Get the message? Wow. Yeah, wow. How does that make you feel, Paulette? Bad, but I'm not surprised, because I've been saying the same thing. Too much cheese, too much crust, too much everything. I've talked and talked and talked about the same things, and I don't see it changing. It's really bad. It needs to change. I think that um, in his mind, it's always more is better. I do put a lot of ingredients on. Yeah, you I do. do. I do. Your pizzas are dated. I am very surprised at the results of the video. I never thought in my wildest dreams that the people of Denver will pick a frozen pizza over my pizza. You have got to understand, you are miles away from serving Denver's best pizza. That 1991 review behind me is no longer valid. We're in a different era. You've taken the praise of a local critic, it's gone to your head, and you have locked in what they said was good, and you've kept doing it for nearly 30 fucking years. Can you three just give me two minutes and get some fresh air outside? Because this is important. I've got one very important question for you. Am I willing to change? That's the one. No. You realize, like, how embarrassing it's been the last three years to work for other people while we have a restaurant? That's all because of this stuff. This bullshit. I've been in here waiting tables, and my knees are shot. I'm not going to do it anymore, and I'm serious with you. I mean, I may even leave. I am out of here. Uh, I'm actually to to ready to head to Texas, because I'm, I'm done. I pulled with you. I've been your partner. You haven't always been mine, but I have been yours. And I want you now to step up, because I don't want to lose my home and the few little things that I have. I don't want you to. Pete, are you committed? I am. You are? I am. 100%? Yes, sir. I am ready to change. I am. Can you? Yes. Well, I hope so. Pete is a creature of habit, and it's going to be hard for him to change and break habits. I want to see it.
The combination of Chef Ramsay's taste test. Yours was the least favorite. You're actually beaten by a store bought fucking frozen pizza. And ultimatums from his family. I may even leave. Has resulted in a commitment from Pete. I am ready to change. To accept change. But before any physical changes are made to the restaurant or to the food, Chef Ramsay wants to bridge the gap between a father and a son. Here we are with one, two, three generations working in this business. How important is that for you? Very. Very. So let me tell you something about a unique Italian restaurant. It's in New York. It's called Rayo's. They have been serving quality food since 1896. Wow. Wow. And every single night, it is packed. You cannot get in there. Josh, how does that sound? That's my dream. Do you know what? I'd love to take you to Rayo's. Unfortunately, it's a little far from here. But in 2006, they opened up in Vegas. And I can take you both to Vegas. Oh! Are you shitting me, oh, Chef? That <laughs> is exactly what all three of us are doing tonight. Rayo's is at Caesars, and my good friends at Caesars have sent their private plane. <laughs> now, Wheels up in half an hour. <laughs> what the we fuck are... is going on? <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you doing to me? <laughs> I want to take you for dinner. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I can't even think right now. Come on, this is going to be a blast. Are you kidding? Uh, I'm ready to go to Vegas with Chef Ramsay and my son, of course. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bye. See ya. <laughs> Nice is that to get out of that restaurant. How are you feeling? Yeah, it's great to be out of that restaurant. Excellent. Tonight is about you two. Yeah. Catch up with each other and spend a bit of quality time together. Yeah. Here's to you both. Thank you, Chef. Yeah, cheers, father and son. How are you, sir? Chef Courtney, how are you, brother? Good, good to see you. Good to Welcome see you, back. too. Welcome Thank you so much for having Absolutely. This is Pete. Hi, Pete. Craig Pellegrino. Welcome to Rayo's. Thank you. Come on, let's go into our dining room. Let's go. Four generations in your family? It's, I'm the fourth generation. Can you give a little insight in terms of how, how, how this has happened? I grew up under the tutelage of my father, and I had to learn how to really become open-minded and willing to communicate mm -hmm. in a constructive way. Mm -hmm. And if you have that strong relationship and care for one another, mm -hmm. that will only reflect in your business. And who's really going to pick up on that are your guests. If there was a strong key message to Josh stepping up to the plate, what would it be? Truthfully, the most important thing is the relationship you have with your dad. I agree with Frank that the most important relationship is with my father, and I hope my father can see, with working together, how successful we can become. Are you ready to try some stunning food? Yes. We are. I am so thankful to Chef Ramsey to bring me over here and open my eyes and my mind. I can see why they've been in business for over 100 years. Absolutely. They know what they're doing. Let's take a lesson from it. I'm going to remember this night for the rest of my life. One night together in Vegas has clearly brought Josh and Pete together again. And while they have been away, Chef Ramsay gave the green light to his team to overhaul the decor of this outdated restaurant. So, are you all ready to see the next chapter, Pantaleo? Yes, yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. OK, great. Remove your blindfolds. Oh, oh. <gasps> Beautiful. Oh, my so God. Ugly. Wow, this is gorgeous. It is amazing. Gone is that depressing, tacky look of the 80s. We have completely transformed this gorgeous little room. It's a restaurant of today. It's got that fresh, contemporary feel. Wow. Is it, you OK? Yeah, look. Is it amazing? It is amazing. We tore down that dated panelling, which was hideous. We added fresh coats of paint, black and white, to give that really nice contemporary vibe. Oh, my lord. <laughs> We've added new cool signs 
to create that nice, fun, modern, hip vibe. Gone are those 25-year-old reviews and that scary clown <laughs> everybody hated. <laughs> we have pictures of Italy. Amen. Stunning. Family pictures on the wall. Oh, I, I love this. Let's everybody know that this is a family-run restaurant. This is just oh, it's my very favorite. Thank you, Gordon. Our new restaurant looks amazing. To have a hip New York vibe here in Denver is really cool, and it's new, but the history's still here. Come here, you man. <laughs> hey, you okay? Dull. I'm ecstatic about my new restaurant. I'm overwhelmed. Is this awesome or what? This is sweet. It's the best day in history of Pantaleones, hands down. Please, take a menu and pass them along. To go along with the drastic changes that have been made to the interior... I want you all to dive in. Chef Ramsay has reduced the menu and the portion sizes. Look at that Caesar, how cool. Yeah. Oh, it's just an easy. He's designed a fun contemporary menu that has a modern take on Italian classics. I think Denver is going to love this place. It's awesome. I just want a quick word with all four of you outside. Let's go. It has been a day of surprises for the family, and Chef Ramsay has one more. Just stay there two seconds, OK? OK. That is sure to increase profits. OK. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're committed. We're committed. That is your new delivery van, donated by my friends at 1-800-CHARITY-CARS. Oh. It's going to let everybody know, not just in the neighborhood, but in the city, that you have the best pizza I knew. Deliver. 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 <laughs> How gorgeous is that? It's awesome. Isn't it? I have a beautiful restaurant now. I have a beautiful <laughs> menu, and I have a delivery. I'm out of here. Coming up. <laughs> I want to give up. It's relaunch night, and everything is on the line. What the hell are you guys doing? Will Pete and Josh get their act together? We are going so far backwards. Or will all of Chef Ramsay's hard work be for naught? Stop! with everyone anxious to reveal the completely new restaurant. If they cut the same, they cook the same, OK? Really? Chef Ramsay gives some last-minute pointers to Pete and Josh. One delicious portion of lasagna and one delicious portion of eggplant palm. This is awesome. Good evening. Welcome to Pantaleone's. How are you? Good. How are you? They did a lot of changes. We love the pictures over there. That's wonderful. so great. Pete, when the order comes on, nice loud there, tick it up. Josh, you follow sync. For tonight, Chef Ramsay has divided up the work for the father and son team. You ready? Yes, ready. Josh will be working the saute line. All right, let's do this. While Pete, in addition to making the pizzas, will be expediting. Here's our new menu. I'm going to have the wild mushroom pizza. Please, lasagna, please. please. Wonderful. All right, ladies. Did I give you enough time to decide? I'm going to get the bruschetta. The bruschetta. Thank you, Ryan. You're very welcome, ladies. Order on, please, Pete. Let's go. Eggplant parm, melisana. Just stay there. Just stay there. Well, like I you. mean, come on, Josh. Get him ready and fire. Shut up. Okay. Let me do it. I got my thing. Stop. What else is on that ticket? Don't just start throwing pizzas in now. You don't think I know what I'm doing, do you? Hey, Pete, how long for 16? What 16? 16 is already gone. Josh, is this done or what? I don't know. I don't know what, what happened. Although dinner service has just begun, Pete is already overwhelmed with orders. Where's the 16, damn it? Bobby, you're not talking to me, man, and we're missing times here. And is not communicating effectively with Josh. I don't even know where the fuck we are. Listen, I want some harmony in here a little bit, yeah? The father and son team are confusing each other, and almost no food has left the kitchen. Where's this going? I need a table number on this. OK, lasagna, the linguine alla vodka, right? Where's the linguine alla vodka? I don't have that. I Where's the linguine alla vodka? Uh, not even started. Really? What the hell are you guys doing? Put the fucking thing out. Whatever, man. Stop! You, you, come here. Urgently, now. I, I, I fucking, I, I want to give up. We are now just going so far backwards. 
And we come this far now to give up? No. Table 16, this hasn't gone. When a ticket's gone, it gets fucking spiked. Yes, yeah, chef. Let's regroup, and then we focus on 16. OK. okay. Let's go. In. Chef is absolutely right. I have to take a breath and start doing a ticket at a time. Table 16, lasagna, linguine, vodka, josh. Coming up right now. Nice, take your time. What's going next? Then I need a neck plate parmesan and small meat lovers. OK, Third. Get your systems going. Come on, you can do it. It appears as though Chef Ramsay's pep talk has done the trick. Both Pete and Josh are clearly more focused. There was 16. They are now able to control the orders and get delicious quality food out in a more organized manner. I love that mushroom pizza. This is so good. Yeah. This is fantastic. Oh, delicious. Really? Yeah. yeah. Table three, Capellini eggplant parmesan. Eggplant parm, Capellini heart. All right, that's my boy. Yeah, that's my Bianca, and then yeah. we're done. Yeah. Small Bianca, and we're done. I never thought I'd see Pete change. I think he's more open to listening and working with his family. I'm really proud of him, very much so. High five. We will pass tonight. Woo! I'm 61, I can still do it, baby. Tonight, we had a rocky time in the kitchen. But we dealt with it. You now have a plan. Pick up the reins and run with it. All right, look after yourself. Yeah? Absolutely. And dig in there. Hi, darling. I love you, Chef. <laughs> Thank you so much. Chef Ramsey really inspired us. Look after you boys. I will. And hopefully Pete and Josh can do even better and take it to the next level. I've got to go. Come on, take care. Chef Ramsey is a remarkable, remarkable man. I am grateful and thankful to him for coming here and opening my eyes. Take care of you. I love you, you old Brit. In all my years of doing Kitchen Nightmares, I don't think I've ever met a more lovable character than Pete. Unfortunately, when I first arrived, his heart may have been in the right place, but his head certainly wasn't. And for almost 30 years, the guy was doing the same thing every day, despite his business going downhill. But I am truly honored to have helped this wonderful, appreciative man to finally see the light. For Pete's sake, I sincerely hope that the Pantiones continues to be successful for generations to come. In the weeks that followed, Pete remained committed to the standards set by Chef Ramsay. Josh, you got linguine a la vodka and the spaghetti meatball coming up? Yes, yes sir. I'm ready whenever you are. Okay. And the new menu has already received positive reviews from not only customers inside the restaurant, That's good. Yeah. but outside as well. Here you go. Keep the change. Thank you. Uh -huh. Have a nice day. Next time on Kitchen Nightmares. The place is littered with shit. Chef Ramsay visits the filthiest restaurant disgusting he has ever seen. You cross-contaminated every ounce of ingredients in this kitchen. And you will not believe what he uncovers. Wow, gross. While the decor is horrid, the food is wretched. The shrimp is tough as old booze. Get ready to witness one of the most difficult challenges I've never seen a practice this bad of Chef Ramsay's career. My God.